I'm just going to um, I don't know if you can hear that. Basically, it's a camera telling me I'm under surveillance. I've literally only just put the camera on, <coughs> but that's fine. So, welcome back to the channel. Uh, that threw me a little bit then, I'll be honest. So, we are at Barclay Power Station, which is currently being decommissioned. And we're gonna have a little look around, see what we can see. Um, the fact that we're under surveillance already suggests to me that they're a little bit paranoid. But uh, we're sort of used to that, so. We're going to have a little walk up this way. So what I'm going to do... ...is just uh, get across the road. So it's a nuclear site licence boundary. So we've got no unauthorised access to the protected site under section 128 of the Serious Organised Crime and Police Act 2005. Says trespassers will be prosecuted. Which if you look at it, it's a bit like Stalag Luft 14 or something. It's got the outer fence with the barbed wire atop. Pointing out onto the road, so it makes it harder to climb. You've then got another fence inside that. With the steel spikes on the top and barbed wire. Cameras look very old, whether they're still in use in this section, I don't know, but they're obviously looking for people breaching no man's land in between. This is gate 14. That just says you're now entering a licensed site. So if it's being decommissioned, I wonder when some of the signage will start being changed. There are signs saying a no-fly zone for drones. So it's a little bit of a walk around the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'll drop it there, guys. And I'll pick it up when we get a bit closer. So we've just come to a corner, which I'm going to turn into. It is a car park. Um, slightly different angle of the of the site from here. We've got hash markings on the ground for walking on, so we will we will stick to those. It's very quiet for 15, 15 hours on a Wednesday. So again, this car park is quite a long walk, so I'll drop it and pick it back up. So the car park is pretty damn full. There's got to be... three, maybe even four hundred cars. So we're coming up to a junction, which I'm going to have to go back round and out a different way by the look of it. Mighty is on site, whether that's security or our technical services. So we just have a wander around the perimeter. I mean, the building over to your left looks as though it's quite a, a modern building. All you ever seem to be sealed off. So remember your 10 tools. So what we got here then, we got, uh, you're now entering a licensed nuclear site. Did you forget to do a LFT COVID test yesterday? Take a single test kit and a Regent bottle to your car and do one now. 
kids are in the security shed please bring Regent Bottle back here afterwards and wipe down so COVID-19 test centre open from 07 to 0800 hours Mondays only so we've got a couple of hand sanitizers, a couple of keypads uh, world's first commercial nuclear power station apparently commissioned in 1962 ceased generation in 1989 so that's interesting you've got a yellow phone a disconnection if you needed to contact anybody hello mate you all right is it is it near to completion the discommit decommission um no <laughs> no because no. when, when i've just read that closed in what was it 89 yeah yeah, there's still a bit of work to do. Is there? Yeah. yeah. There's still a lot of asbestos and um, ah, right, okay. uh, contamination in there as well. Of course, yeah. So, so is that is that a safe place to work in then? Or it's you, safe, it's all controlled. It's right, safe, okay. Yeah. It's just... You haven't got to sort of wear it depends hazmat on suits or... Right, okay. Yeah. If, if you're in certain areas, then yeah. Yeah, okay. So what are they looking at then? Another five years or longer? I couldn't tell you. I no? really don't know. More you, than five years. You don't really care, do you, as long as there's work? Yeah, more, more than five years. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Blimey. Fair play. Ongoing. Fair play. It's good that they're sort of using the site down the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. I've been down at the Sabrina Centre and uh, oh, yeah. the fact that they're... Around them, so it's, it's quite interesting because you've still got some old buildings obviously connected to this. Yeah. And some buildings that are still empty that they're trying to let. But the yeah. Sabrina Vale Centre yeah. for the police state of the art yeah. it's, it's fantastic so to see it being regenerated is good yeah, yeah, so good. it's good for local business it's good for the local constabulary because they've got a really good record here of training so training, yeah. yeah you know but uh, what, anyway what sort of training do they do there oh everything yeah. i'm coming back they're doing uh, they have got a parade ground down there but they do training with dogs and horses and i'm coming back to film some of that so just trying to build a bridge between the police and the public right right yeah because yeah. you probably saw the bristol riots and stuff yeah what, it's the, couple of years back yeah, yeah. you know and it, it's it's just getting crazy people are losing respect for the police yeah. yet they're here to protect us all and yeah. they do their best yes it's like anything there's people that don't do their job properly yeah. but it's a minimal amount so they're doing a great job they really are so yeah. anyway i won't keep you yeah. bud okay. nice one take care so you've got another staff entrance here don't look as though it's in use security lodges this way so we'll we'll have a look around here he's a nice fella not really bothered about anything which is always nice so still a lot of money being spent decommissioning this and for the amount of cars i mean you could see i wasn't really exaggerating when i said it's probably three maybe even 400 cars and there's more cars where I'm going now it's like you know I can understand trying to make it safe but you know what a waste what a waste but yeah nice to know it was the first one so we're coming round now Obviously looking at the bird poo on the ground, it's a favourite spot for pigeons. So we're coming up to the security lodge. Now as we know, security people can be very paranoid. So let's see if they are friendly and help with any advice. Or whether they are... Uh, Well, let's just see how they are. <laughs> Loads of signs about no drones, which is understandable. Mind you, you know what they say, just because the signs doesn't mean that you can't. It's all whether there's that no-fly zone. I need one of my colleagues with a drone to to meet up and come up here and we could uh, check it out so we're just going to walk across this way so response level is heightened 
So Magnox or visitors and delivery drivers plus pull into lay by, please pull into lay by and report to the security. We use the telephone provided to contact the control room. The vehicles are liable to be searched on entry and departure. So no unauthorized access. So we'll have a little wander up this way, see what we can see. So what we got here, we got uh, Welcome to Hamfield's Leisure, home of Sharpness Amateur Football Club. Apparently it's got indoor bowls, tennis courts, adult football, shooting, darts, short mat bowls, badminton and snooker room, dance hall, junior football, pool table, skittle alley and table tennis with catering facilities and a dance hall. Obviously available for hire. So I'm not sure where we can get up here, but we'll have a little look-see. And uh, what I'll do is I'll pick it up when I get a bit closer to something. So this is the uh, the pitch for the amateur football. I've got to say, I've certainly played on worse. I can remember one pitch I used to play on regularly and if you took a corner from one of the corner posts the goalkeeper could just about see the head of the taker if he was tall and all of a sudden the, the ball would appear. <laughs> but this, this looks quite nice, obviously you know, with the summer sun it's getting a bit brown. And then I'm assuming this is a training area. Again pretty good condition considering the weather we've had so they're obviously looking after it. So we're just going to have a little look at this place. Don't know if anybody would be about to ask them any questions. You know, was it all part of the nuclear site? Was it a social club? What was it? They obviously play cricket here as well. Got the old scoreboard there with the runs, wickets, overs. Exceptionally quiet. It's no wonder it's taking so long to decommission if. Uh, if it's this quiet, I mean, all right, maybe loads of people are working indoors. I accept that. But we'll, uh, we'll have a little look. A little bit of um, space available for, for people if they're part of this club. So I'm just going to approach this gate. We're not going to go any further today. I'm assuming this is where the shooting takes place because over there if you can see it's not a great zoom on here but you've got to hide so this is probably where they do the shooting and the hills you can see in the background are actually the other side of the River Severn so uh, if you watch the previous video of Sabrina Vale you'll, you'll notice that I went up around the outskirts and we saw the seven, known locally as Sabrina, hence why the training establishment is Sabrina Vale. So, uh, yeah, so this is now the fence of the, uh, the site again, running around. So, hello. Hello. Right? I'm fine, how are you? No, I'm doing a bit of filming. Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> Why not? You're not shy, are you? Definitely. No? Is it, has it raised a concern then? No, no, no. We're just like, you know, we're just making sure everything's alright. Because it's boring. Because it's boring. What do you mean boring? Well, it's very quiet, isn't it? Not at all. It's a silent site. 
Well, yeah, I can understand inside. You can tell by the amount of cars in the car park. There's there's loads going on, but uh, yeah, lovely place to be, though, especially working security. Not too bad, is it? You've got a nice, lovely view as well. Yeah, well, when I was down at the Sabrina Centre, I checked out the river and everything. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know that the Sabrina Centre is named after the river. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just having a mooch about. I'm not going anywhere I'm not allowed to. Yeah, that's okay. Um, didn't know this was here, so this is useful for the future. You know, because if it doesn't get used, they'll lose it, won't they? Oh, it does get used, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, if people know about it, yeah. there's a chance of it being used to its full potential, yeah, yeah. you know. And the football pitch is in good condition, so. So anyway, I'm coming back around that way. Okay. So I'll see you back there. Right. <laughs> Cheers. Could do with a skip or two down here with the rubbish, that's for sure. Now I think we can cut through this way. Lovely little play area for the kids as well. So if mum and dad's watching football or brothers, sisters, they can keep around the kids. I mean, it looks a really nice, safe place for, for kids to play. Tennis courts look a bit, um, a bit run down. But then I suppose, like I've just said to, to security, if, if you don't use it to its full potential, it'll end up getting, getting left and ruined. I mean, the pine needles on the deck there, look, they're, they're probably from last year. But hey, that's... Uh... So I've just noticed a truck on the inside with the famous insignia of G4S. It's a rather big, rather big barrier. It's got to be a good few feet across. Permanently open by the look of it. So yeah, G4 G4S Hilux. Survey point 3B. I wonder if you can answer this question, guys. Blue drains. Red drains. I, I well, you ain't going to tell me it's top secret, are you? No, it's not top secret. I mean, blue, I'm not. suggesting it's something like a clean. But it's just, yeah, we wouldn't you know. say anything about anything on site. No? No. It's decommissioned. Even so, even so, we don't yeah. talk about anything on site. It's a licensed so site, so. Is it still licensed? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Until it's finally closed and the doors are shut and everyone goes home, I suppose. Pretty bad, throw away the keys, they say. Yeah. Well, I've just been speaking to a fellow around there, and I said, was it going to be another five years? Because when you think it started to be decommissioned in 1989, yeah. he said, no, it'd be more than five years, and you think, Jesus. But he, he did say it's mainly because of asbestos and other hazardous stuff, you know, so. It's always the case, though, with nuclear power stations. Right? Exactly, exactly. I, I was very interested to find it was the first one. Mm. I didn't know that, so. Um, you know, my viewers love interesting facts and I don't always give them as many as they'd like. <laughs> Hence the drains, but I'm sure one of my viewers will tell me. Happy days. Are you, I have to ask, are you recording? Of course, I record yeah, everything I do. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, that's okay. Yeah. Just a recommendation. Uh, oh okay. dear, a recommendation. Obviously it's not up to you. Uh, <laughs> Go just on. Just recording on site, that's all. But I'm not on site, am I? No, you're not on site, I'm just, I'm yeah. just saying. We just uh, prefer people not to record. But if you want you're, to you're not trying to suggest that I'm not allowed to film in there from as here. Is, as I said, it just, it just says that our, with us, we just say we're not allowed to record. No cameras. That's, that's you though, isn't it? Yeah, that's, as I said. It's yeah, just and us. you're on site. Yeah, that's yeah. all. That's I'll okay. Just give you, I'll just give you the yeah, answer. yeah, no. The, the, reason I, the reason I get you to just confirm that for my viewers is because you've got no fly zone for drones. Yeah, yeah. Understandable. Yeah. 
I wouldn't bother checking out whether you've got a real no-fly zone, as in, you know how drones work, you can yeah. check it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that doesn't bother me, I don't do that. Um, you've got no other signage that I've seen that says no filming. Oh, right, okay. Um, just a point of interest for you guys. Yeah. Um, but I obviously... You. I appreciate you letting us know. But we understand if we come in there, we can't, mm. because you're covered by the whatever it is that you're covered by. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I, and we don't go anywhere we're not allowed to. We don't push no, our luck. Just, um, just letting you know as well. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. I appreciate that. Um, I mean, to be honest, there's there's nothing to see, is there? It's an old nuclear site. All the action's inside. Exactly. As opposed to the one down at... Um, what is that place bloody called? You know the I one I mean? The, the next one down the river. Um, Have you been there? Or? Yeah, I've been there. Weeks and weeks ago, actually, um, they weren't quite as friendly. Um, oh, right, okay. uh, I can't think what it's All called I can now. Say is apologies for that. But... Well, no, it's not your fault. Um, I don't know if they were G4. You're G4S, aren't you? Uh, no, you're Magnox. We're G4S. We're G4S. You are G4S, right? Yeah, because because not all your colleagues are as professional as others. Well, we do try our best. I mean, I mean, there's a there's a saying around photographers: G4S stands for G4 stupid. I, I don't use that because well, well, thank you. most you know. most of the time I come across you guys, if I'm polite with you, you tend to be polite with me. Yeah, of course. If, if like your colleagues down the road yeah. or down the river, they were a bit, I stand me ground a bit and I, I get a little bit more forceful, but I'm here to enjoy life, you know, so. But anyway, oh, thank, you, thank you for chatting. No worries. Um, I don't suppose they, they open up here for any visits, do they at all? No, they don't, no. Not at all, no. no. I just thought I'd ask because you never know, the closer it gets to, compl co to completion, yep. they might. Yeah, of course. I doubt it, but money maker though, hey, you know. <laughs> um, the other question, and I think you'll be able to tell me this, because it is a security question. As I come up out of the car park, uh, I've lost my bearings that way. Is it this car park? Or? The one to the Sabrina Vale. All the way down here, because I've been down there on business. Ah, it's just that as I was walking out, I put my camera on, doing my intro, and it started talking to me, the camera, saying, you're under surveillance. So I filmed yeah, that's, that's it yeah. and said, thank you, keep an eye on me, make sure I'm safe. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah nothing to do with us. Because that, that's new, because when I was down here, what was it, six six months ago? Uh, it must have been six months ago. They've added a few things, haven't they? Oh, yeah, well, they got the college, they got the restaurant, and they... Do you go down there for food? Me personally, no. It's not to do with that. Are you not allowed to use it though? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's nothing to do with us. It's a college. No, but you can use it, can't you? No, because it's not. I've had a cup of tea in there. Oh, have you? Well, we Was don't. it nice? NATO standard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't eat, but the food looked okay. But there's a school as well, isn't there, over the further yeah, side? That's so, the why, yeah. And we, we always tend to do that yeah. and film away from a jobby. So, anyway, thanks guys. That's me day pretty much done now, so. Home for Dindins. Oh, that's, that's different. I've never noticed that before. Camera on a, on a hoist thing. Good idea. Lovely. Cheers, guys. So, yeah, what a wonderful, wonderful, peaceful sight. I mean, what a place to work if there's no, if there's no grief. Um, yeah, quiet. I'm going to cut back through this way because it's the short route to take. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'll drop it there. And if anything else happens, I'll pick it back up. If not, I'll say to you, thanks for watching. Um, back out after a long spell off, loads of different reasons. You don't need to know the boring details. I'm on the mend. And more videos to come. Hopefully some will be a little bit more feisty. Um, you know, there's, there's an ongoing debate, isn't there, about um, how people are to us. We, we react on the way we're treated. And I don't know what it is. I always, the majority of the time, seem to be treated pretty good. But, you know, if we're honest, we all want those ones where people tell you things that aren't true, make you stand your ground a little bit, when all we're out to do, really, is to bring you some footage. We're highlighting you know, corruption and unprofessional behaviour. And I'm, I think in a way I'm really pleased that I do tend to find a lot of professionals 
I've come across a few of the other type as well um, and part of me always wants something like that because you know let's be honest the, the guys with the big numbers they're the ones that have the best or worst interactions whichever way you look at it but anyway thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you like what you see and you want to subscribe if you haven't already please do and click the little bell icon that way you'll see anything new that we upload uh, I keep saying we still I better give you an update um, so if you've stayed to this part of the video well done thank you so the update is when we started this back in November last year we were a double act um, there was myself and the big fella uh, some of you will know the big fella a couple of you I know have met the big fella unfortunately uh, because of financial restraints he's no longer out and about with me he's working hard you know he's got kids a family to keep up so um, so for the foreseeable future although we're going to keep the name expose and educate I will be on my own unless I team up with anybody obviously a lot of you have seen me teaming up with Gypsy that was a fantastic day I've got to say what a lovely fella if you haven't checked his channel out please do I'm hoping now that I'm back out on the road to uh, team up with a few other people as well I like working on my own but sometimes there's just a little bit more security for us if somebody's watching your back and vice versa so anyway that's it from me I've spoken far too long thanks for watching expose and educate out and we will catch you on the next one cheers